my channel. Thank you so much for being here, and if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crow Gal, and it's Monday. It's Monday for me. It might be Wednesday for you. That's when I'm uploading this. Uh, it's the start of a new week. I had a really great week last week, but I'm always ready for a Monday. I've mentioned that before. Like, it's just the idea of, like, starting a new, starting fresh, new week. Let's kill it. Like, I... I love Mondays. Let's start with with what I have consumed so far this morning. I had a slice of chompies, which I did not take a picture of because I was so hungry and I had already eaten like half of it before I re remembered that I needed to take a picture. Um, I had a slice of that with a tablespoon of cream cheese and I'm currently still working on my coffee. This is a pumpkin spice Nespresso pod, four tablespoons of the International Delight Zero Sugar Caramel Macchiato Creamer. It is a gift, heaven sent from above. It is the most delicious creamer ever. Um, as somebody who has been doing keto and low carb for a while now, it's really hard to find a creamy flavored creamer that is not going to kill you when it comes to calories and slash or carbs. And this, this stuff is just, I love it. I actually checked, um, I was trying to think of like what stores around me might carry the pumpkin spice flavor like I guess what stores carry creamers like that right because I haven't found it at Target and I haven't found it at Walmart so I'm like where else can I look I checked my local Vons which is just like our normal grocery store like a Kroger or something um because you can look online because they do pick up and delivery you can look online like what they have in stock at particular stores and apparently they have the pumpkin spice I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go get it today um but that's good to know because I want it like that's what I originally wanted so I'm gonna buy it at some point. So let's quickly touch on like this weekend and then chat about what we're up to today. So like I mentioned my grocery haul Saturday, we spent all day at the beach. It was like the best day. And then yesterday, Sunday was a great day too. We watched football all day and it was really nice because um, Cernan's cousin came over and brought her daughter who is two years older than Daisy. Um, she just moved like in our to our neighborhood so um it's gonna be nice to have like somebody to hang out with every now and then anyway so they came over daisy played for with her for like from like 11 to like 8 p.m um they were just having like the best girl time and then um Stern's cousin and i and Stern, we were all hanging out watching football doing some day drinking um and it was just like it was just such a fun day uh to kind of sum up my eating this weekend, I actually ate great. Friday was an off plan meal, but that was like, it was off plan, but it was planned. Um, it wasn't low carb, I guess is what I should say. It was not a low carb meal, but I had planned it that way. Um, and we ate out a lot. Like, so we ate out Friday and then Saturday night we got Cheesecake Factory. I got the factory chopped salad. It is like, I'll put on the screen all the ingredients because I feel like I can never remember, but it's the most delicious, it's the most delicious salad. Um, when I was on keto, I would get it without the apple and the corn, but now that I'm doing low carb, I just get it with everything and it's just so good. So I got that for dinner and then yesterday um, when we had family over, we got Buffalo Wild Wings, which was is like obviously easy for me to stay within my, my macros when it comes to that. I'm really on a kick there with the dry rubs. Like I love the lemon pepper, the chipotle barbecue, um, even the salt and vinegar. Like I love all of the dry rub seasonings. So that's, that's what I had yesterday for like a later um, lunch. And then for dinner yesterday, I ate really late because it, what we, I think we had lunch at like 1.30 and I just wasn't hungry um, until like 8. Like it was like 8 or 8, it might have even been 8.30. Uh, and I made a tuna melt on a low carb tortilla. So I'm really proud of myself that like I ate out as much as I did and I stuck to uh, my macros. I tracked everything and that's just the, uh recipe for success for me um i just need to keep tracking keep trying to get my my steps and my exercise in i wasn't too good about that this weekend um so this week i want to try to be a little bit more diligent just pay a little bit more attention to that but all in all we had a fabulous weekend i have not weighed myself in a while i don't know maybe like a little less than a week it's that time of the month I never normally, I normally never weigh myself, um, 
when I'm on my period because it's like what's the point I just I know I know I'm gonna be up um, I know it's not food related and I know it's gonna make me mad so <laughs> why why do it um, but I'm interested to see like once I do weigh myself maybe three days or so after my cycles over um, I'm interested to see what the what the number on the scale is gonna look like so today I have a lot to do today when it comes to like YouTube stuff house stuff we are set um, everything is clean laundry is done I have the dishwasher running right now that feels really good that all of that stuff is is taken care of but my plan for today Daisy and I are gonna go on a walk so I can get some steps in so we can get out for a bit um, it is supposed to be I think it's supposed to be pretty hot today yeah, it's supposed to be really hot today. It's supposed to be 90, the high is 93. It's already 88 degrees and it's 10.30 in the morning. Um, so that's gonna be like a brutal walk, but <laughs> whatever. Um, so we're gonna do that. I'm filming this video. Then I need to film my trunk club video. I received my um, trunk from Nordstrom yesterday, so I need to film that. And then I re really would like to film a favorites video. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do all of that and the trunk club is like um, Time sensitive because I have to send back what I don't want uh, So so that's my that's my plan The reason I feel a little like this is what we have to do. This is what we have to do is because tomorrow um, So Tuesday we're going to downtown Disney um, Disneyland is not open yet uh, but the downtown part is and um, Daisy is well aware that like the parks are not open but the downtown area is and so we thought it would be really fun stop we thought it would be really fun to surprise her and um, go there and get her Halloween costume from the big Disney store and then like get we're gonna do like a liner like a late lunch early dinner um just because there's not a lot you have to get there like right when it opens so that you're not turned away and there's not a lot to do there until like 6 p.m when we would eat dinner um so we're gonna like eat at a restaurant she's never eaten at before and um just look at like everything's decked out for halloween so look at all the halloween stuff i'm so excited and then we're gonna stay overnight at a hotel so that really you know takes out my tuesday and wednesday this week in terms of like getting youtube stuff done so um that's the plan and then on top of all that i have to pack um i already like secretly she's like in the living room so i don't want her to hear me i already like secretly packed all of her stuff um mine is like the nighttime stuff that she's gonna need for like tonight i'll just have to round that up tomorrow morning um but like i need to pack for for myself and just make sure we have what we need it's not like it's not something that's gonna take me forever because we're only staying one night but it's like on my to-do list um so yeah so that is the plan for today i mean I'm, i've been thinking about food today um i have i prepped a bunch of tuna i prepped uh mexican chicken soup for lunches this week um so i definitely have options i have veggies in there um i'm trying to decide i'm trying to decide for dinner if i want to do just steak and uh, um the mexican like cotija corn from trader joe's because that's just like a slam dunk easy delicious meal or if i want to do shrimp tacos which is a little more like it's not hard but it's like a little more labor intensive so i don't know that's kind of like what i'm what i'm toggling between but i'm gonna get ready shower throw some makeup on this face uh, and then I will check in with you guys when I eat some. All right, y'all, this is lunch. I made a tuna melt. So this is on one Mission Low Carb Tortilla. I used a third cup of the Kirkland brand shredded Mexican cheese and then a fourth cup of the tuna salad I made. I followed just like a random recipe I found online for tuna salad because I didn't want to calculate <laughs> all of the macros and stuff. I just wanted it to be done for me. And it's good, but it's not great. It's very um moist. <laughs> it's like a lot of there was Greek yogurt and mayo in it. And while the recipe is like decent, next time I would probably definitely probably definitely I would definitely <laughs> use um like less mayo or greek yogurt and then i did chop up um maybe like a 
quarter of an apple and put it in the whole thing. I just like kind of that extra crunch um, and sweetness and it's 10 servings so so I didn't calculate that into the macros um, the macros of, of the of the tuna I would have loved for that to have gotten a little more crispy but Daisy is giving me a run for my money today I have a feeling because she was up so late um, she normally like we start normally start bedtime routine around 6 30 and last night she didn't go to bed till like I don't know it must have been if I ate at 8.30, she probably went down at 8, I think. Anyways, later than normal, and I feel like that's affecting her today because she has quite the attitude, and um, I just because of that, I didn't get to cook my uh, my tuna melt the amount of time that I wanted to, but it's going to be delicious. It's fine. Um, so I'm going to eat that. I am also drinking this a Glacier... Is that what this one is? Yeah, Glacier Cherry Gatorade Zero, and then... Um, before we went on our walk, I was really hungry, so I measured out three cups of this. This is the air popped popcorn from Trader Joe's. A serving size is four cups, so I measured out three and uh, calculated it as it should. I just noticed that Cernan opened this and didn't didn't seal it. Love that for me. Um, it is currently 120, so I am I'm I'm pretty hungry. Uh, our walk was fine, but it was so so hot. So I'm gonna eat, take care of what Daisy needs, and uh, yeah, check in with you guys. All right, so this is dinner. I have a half portion of that Mexican cotija corn from Trader Joe's, a piece of filet, and then three tablespoons of A1. I'm also enjoying six ounces of uh, sparkling rosé. It's delicious. I have been a filming machine. It's currently, oh my gosh, the oven's still on. 6.51. Um, Cernan took Daisy to the beach this afternoon and they ended up getting dinner, so I'm, I'm all by my lonesome. Uh, and I just got so much done. Um, I filmed two videos. I worked on editing this one. <laughs> so I'm just like feeling good. I'm really trying to stick to my three day a week upload schedule and I don't want to muck it up. So um, I need to get this video ready to go since we're not going to be here tomorrow and Wednesday. But, oh, let me tell you macros wise where I am for today. Okay, I have 140 calories left. Uh, my calorie limit is 1308. I have 140 left and I'm at 47 net carbs, which is awesome. Like this is a great tracking food day to have calories left over plenty of carbs left over I have been toying with raising my calorie limit um, 1300 is not a lot and especially on days where I find myself being hungry in between meals and I need a snack um, I, I struggle a bit to stay at that or under that so I've been kind of going back and forth the only reason it's that low is based on the amount of weight I want to lose in the amount of time. So I basically just have to be okay with not losing in X amount of time. Um, but we'll see. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Drop me a comment down below. I'm always in that comment section chatting it up with you guys. Um, I always make sure to, to respond if you guys have questions or anything. So definitely um, drop a comment if you feel so inclined. And I will see you guys on Friday. It is a fashion unboxing and try on and oh boy, if you have not watched uh, my unboxing and try on videos before, you're going to want to watch that one because that one is a hot mess. I have my diffusers on. <laughs> it's like as I'm talking, it's like in my face. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys on Friday. Bye friends.